Hello and welcome to Book Reading with Sammy. Today we are going to read Curious George Builds a Tree House. George was a good little monkey, but sometimes he broke the house rules. Painting on the walls was against the rules. So was buttering corn with your feet. The animals outside didn't have to worry about house rules. That made it seem like a great place for a monkey. The tree was nice. Until it started raining. George couldn't live in a tree and stay dry unless he had a tree house. Then he could make his own house rules. George went to see how other houses were made. Mrs. Remkins was building a chicken coop. Maybe she could help. George looked at some drawings Mrs. Remkins had. Those are my plans, George, she explained. Of course, George needed a plan. He drew a plan for his tree house. Mrs. Renkins liked George's drawing. If you want to try building, take all the wood you need, she said. On the way home, George passed Mr. Quint fixing the dock. Hi, George, he said. That's a lot of wood. You must be building something. Mr. Quint offered George some nails. Take anything you need, neighbor. Armed with his handy monkey tool set, George was ready to build. This would be his house and he would make all the rules. George chose a piece of wood for the floor of the tree house. He tried to balance it on his favorite branch, but it didn't then stay up. Building was not easy. How could he keep his floor from tipping over? Maybe he needed to balance his floor on two branches. Success! Now it was time to put up the walls. George remembered how Mr. Quint used the tools on the dock. It was even faster when he could use your feet. After lots of hard work, there was only one wall left to build, but George was out of nails and the only big piece of wood left was too big. George went back to Mrs. Rankin's farm. She had told him he could have any wood he wanted. Then he stopped at the dock for nails. George's tree house was finally done. Wow! said the man with the yellow hat. You built your own house. Where did you get all the wood and nails? And just then, the neighbors showed up. George, did you take my wall? Asked Mrs. Rankins. Mr. Quint asked, did you take nails from my dock? George was sorry, but then the neighbors saw his careful plans. They didn't want George to lose his tree house. It's okay. I did say you could have whatever nails you wanted, Mr. Quint said. And I can make a new wall, Mrs. Renkin said. Now George had a place where he made the rules. Rule number one, you have to paint on the walls. And rule number two, always butter corn with your feet feet. The end. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.